Hey everyone, I'm Mohammed. In this tutorial, I will show you how to deploy a Kubernetes cluster using Cryo as the container runtime engine instead of Docker. As you may have heard that Kubernetes will no longer be supporting Docker as a runtime engine after version 1.20. So version 1.20 of Kubernetes will be the last version to support Docker as a runtime engine. And uh, you should um, consider using other uh, runtime engines, uh, for example, uh, Cryo. So I will be demonstrating in this tutorial how to prepare your environment uh, for uh, Cryo. And I suppose that you already have some experience with Kubernetes and how to deploy Kubernetes with kubeadm. So I will be only focusing on preparing uh, the environment for um, Cryo and making the needed changes to make uh, Kubernetes be fully supporting uh, Cryo and working properly with it. So we will be using CentOS 7 and Kubernetes version 1.20, Cryo version 1.20, and the CNI plugin will be um, Calico. And uh, by the way, um, both Cryo and Kubernetes must run at this, the same version. So if you are intending to install Kubernetes version 1.20, then the Cryo engine should always and should only be um, the same version, version 1.20. So keep this in mind, and we will go through this in the preparation script. So let's go ahead to the um, demo. Okay, here's my lab. I have an E6i host running uh, E6i 6.7, um, and I will be performing the deployment on four um, Linux virtual machines. Okay, um, first things first, you should take a backup or at least take a snapshot for all of these VMs, just in case something goes wrong during the preparation, and I have already done this, okay. Uh, all of the needed steps are already listed here in this article on my blog. I will be um, including the, the URL in the description of the video. Okay, all of the necessary steps are provided here. So um, I'm using Putty to log into the server. Okay, I will SSH into the first node that will be used as the uh, master node. Okay. Okay, it's a fresh installation, so you should be following these steps with a fresh, fresh installation of uh, Linux. In case you have uh, um, another VM or another server that you did, you'd like to reuse with Kubernetes, then I'd suggest that you clean it up and remove any other um, runtime engines. If Docker is installed, you should uninstall it. Okay, now, so let's follow these steps here in the article. Okay. Um, starting with step number one, we need to prepare the nodes um, by making some changes, like... Um, Updating the node, installing some dependencies. The NFS is not required, but I'm just installing it for other purposes. Maybe you need to use um, uh, persistent volumes with NFS, so it will be ready. Uh, you should also disable the firewall and all of the other changes that needs to be made to prepare your node for Kubernetes. And when it comes here to uh, cry, this is the part. Um, Starting from here, the preparations for cryo. So you need to prepare the IP tables of the nodes. Okay. Okay, installing cryo. These are the steps. So okay, again, you should make sure that the installed version of cryo is the same as the version of Kubernetes. Okay. Um, okay. Uh, first, you need to download the the binaries of cryo that matches the operating system that you will be um, using. 
So in this part, you will have to specify the operating system version that you're going to use. Again, in our video, we will be using CentOS 7. Then you should be changing this value in case you're using another operating system version. And there is information, um, sorry, there is instructions for other uh, Linux distributions like Ubuntu, but you can find it on Cryo um, website and Kubernetes documentation for deploying uh, Cryo. I will try to include those the URLs in the video, the description of the, of the video. Okay, so you will have to set a variable. Okay, I will let you know how to use this variable and where is it going to be used down there. Uh, okay, I uh, created a variable called OS, which equals the operating system I'm using. I just copied this value from here, from this guide, and pasted it there. You also need to specify another variable for the version that you're intending to install for Cryo, which is 1.20 in this example here. Okay, um, if you go down there to the um, command that will be downloading the binaries of Cryo, so you'll find here, if you scroll a bit to the right, you'll find... Yes, here is the variable of the operating system, as well as the variable for the version that you need, which is 1.20. It's going to read from this variable. Okay. Um, okay, and the, the next step will be installing the Kubernetes components, and I'm specifying manually specifying the version of Kubelet and kubedm, kubectl, uh, to be also downloading version 1.20, the same version as um, Cryo's version. So you can just copy the content of this script and run it on your node. And by the way, this uh, script should, you should run and should follow all of these steps on all of the nodes, okay, to prepare all of them and make them uh, unified. So I will create uh, a script file, I'll call it prep, and I will be pasting here um, all of the values. Oh, I don't seem to be pasting, let me create that file again, paste here. Can just make sure that everything is fine. Yes, let's save it and let's run it. It's going to take a few minutes to download everything, so I will pause the video and continue afterwards. Okay, great. So the preparations have been completed successfully, and let's just make sure that everything needed has been. Download it correctly when it comes to Kubernetes versions. So the correct version has been downloaded. And let's check for Cryo. Uh, yes, the same needed version. Okay, then let's head to the next um, step. Okay. Okay, we have checked that everything is fine. Okay, let's um, make a couple of changes to the kubelet.service uh, service configuration file. We will need to make a couple of changes, okay, uh, to make it work correctly with Cryo. So we will have to add this line here, okay, and also add that argument. There and I have already highlighted this here. You will just need to also to add this to. So let's head to that um, path. Let's copy the name of the file here. Okay. Okay. Ah, sorry, the path wasn't. Entirely correct. So just need to put this slash here. Okay, here we go. So we need to go above this section here. Okay, and add 
this line. Okay, we should be adding this file. Okay, entire line. Okay, great. And I also add an argument here for the C group. We need to set the C group driver to system D. Okay. Save. Okay, what else should we change? Okay, just uh, let's um, restart um, the real, reload the daemon and start cryo and kubelet services. Great. Let's CTL status kubelet. Okay. And also cryo. Great. Okay, now we can initiate the Kube Kubernetes cluster by using this command, and I'm appending this uh, suffix as I'd like to use this um, uh, network range for my pod networking. Okay, let's give it a few minutes and continue later. Okay, great, the cluster has been installed successfully. Let's first take a note of this join unit. Okay, uh, let's keep it here for now to use it later to join other nodes, the worker nodes, okay. Um, Let's um, export the path to the kubeconfig file. Okay, let's kubectl uh, get nodes. Okay, great. We have our first node. Let's check also our pods in here. Okay, great. And um, if you check the Obtained IP addresses by these uh, containers, especially the uh, core DNS, you'll find it obtained from the default cryo IP addresses. Okay, now we would need to um, install the CNI plugin. Okay, so we will be installing Calico in this um, tutorial. Uh, sorry for this. Okay, so let's copy both of these. Let's go paste them here. So we'll be downloading the binaries of uh, the Calico uh, plugin, and now we will be deploying the pods. Let's check the status of here. And, uh, let's watch what's happening here. So a couple of Pods for Calico have been deployed. This one and that one. Okay, and both of them are still being initialized. Let's give them a minute here. Okay, great. So all of the all of Calico pods are in good shape, but still obtaining the IP addresses from Calico. Uh, sorry, from Cryo, not from Calico. So. Um, Either uh, restarting the, the cryo daemon service or uh, restarting the node, but I think it would be better to restart the entire node to reinitiate uh, all of these pods to start uh, obtaining IP addresses from um, Calico, the Calico IPAM. Okay, what do we have next? Let's give it a minute until it reboots until it reboots okay so again yes you you should be rebooting it um, let's give it a minute and check let me as I search again okay but um, 
I think I need first, yeah, I need first to populate the configuration files because I haven't added it yet to the bash RC. So let's copy it from here, paste it there, and repeat this command again, and here we go. Okay, um, let's preview all the nodes once again. So the uh, sorry, okay, the, the pods I mean, so these pods are still being uh, initialized, okay, and voila, the core DNS and Calico have, pods have obtained their IP addresses from Calico ranges, and this is the range that I specified during the initiation of the uh, Kubernetes uh, cluster, okay, okay, so great, um, What's next? I will be preparing the other uh, nodes um, to join as a worker nodes. So I will be repeating the same steps with the other nodes I have in my lab. I have nodes, node prior two, three, and four. So I will be repeating all of the steps here starting from step number one to step number four, okay? And I will get back to, so I will pause right now and get back to you in a few minutes. All right then, so I have prepared all of the other nodes and joined them to the cluster and here they are, healthy, up and running. So let's deploy our first pod and inspect it. You can deploy any pod you'd like to, but I'm gonna prepare. I'm gonna de I'm gonna deploy an image that I have created previously. So let's call it httpd one. Let's have another one. Call it httpd two. Oops, CTL, let's maximize it for this pod. Oh, white. Okay, let's watch them being created. And here we go, one of them is up and running and has successfully obtained an IP address from Calico. The other one. This one is on node number four, cryo four. This is on node cryo three. Let's, yeah, here we go. Up and running and healthy. So let's examine one of those to double check that it's successfully pulling and obtaining an IP from the CNI. So QCTL, describe. Pod. Let's describe this one more. Okay, here we go. As you see, in this part of the annotations, it's specifying Calico as the um, network driver. Okay, great. So we are done today and I hope this has been informative and I'd like to thank you for viewing. Goodbye.